Hello and welcome to my ongoing series, Roblox Myths Explained. In this series, I talk about various Roblox myths and everything you need to know about them. In today's episode, I'll be talking about betas and everything you need to know about him. Quite a few people asked me to cover this myth in the past, so now I'm doing that. Special thanks, as usual, to the Myth Community Wiki for providing all of the information used in this video. As always, make sure to hit the like button and to subscribe to the channel so that we agree that Twitter has a terrible community. You can also become a channel member by clicking the join button next to my name. So without further ado, let's get into it. Betas is a Roblox myth that is best known for his 9 games that tell a part of a story as well as being investigated by various Roblox myth hunting groups. There is a lot of war about betas that will be talked about later on in the video. One thing that I will say right now is that he has become a servant for his master, who is theorized to be Noli. I've already made a video on Noli, so make sure to go watch that if you haven't already. Recently, betas has been becoming popular within the Roblox mid community, which prompted many people to investigate his myth. This has led to betas reaching the level of notability that he has today. The story of Betas dates all the way back to June 17, 2018, so almost 3 years ago as of recording this. This was also the day before my friend Saturn made my current channel for me. Less than 2 months would pass and Betas would create the game, The Maze. This is the first game that he made for his myth. Not much would happen until January of 2020, when several games would be made. The first game is one that is called The Summit, which was made on January 4, 2020. The second one will be a game called The Divide, which was made on January 5, 2020, so the following day. The next game that was made is one called The Valley, which was made on January 11, 2020. Following this, a game called The Breach was made on January 16, 2020. The game that followed this one is one that is known as The Grove, which was made on January 31, 2020. To summarize this part of this section up, Betas made a game in July of 2018, which would be followed by four more that were all made in January of 2020. Moving on, a game known as The Edge will be made the following day on February 1, 2020. One more game will be made in February of 2020, that being The Dunes. The game was specifically made on February 11, 2020. Fast forward to March of 2020 and the final new game related to betas will be made. The game in question is called The Gate and was made on March 23rd, 2020. If you want to know how old this game is, it was made during the beginning of the pandemic. To wrap this part up, Betas has a total of 9 games that tell us his myth story, with each game being a portion of that story. Anyway, Betas will leave the games in their current state until December of 2020 and January of 2021, when he would start updating each of his games, adding new things and features to them to better allow the player to learn his myth story. For example, Betas would add a church to the maze whenever he did. Also, between December 20th and December 24th of 2020, Betas added things that would took up space in the valley. Several days after this, Betas added the summit to his profile, which meant that it now shows up on his profile and that anyone can find it. This was done following an announcement stating that he will take a trip there. On the same day as this, Betas changed his status to Tuesday, December 29th, 6pm EST. This alluded to an event that would take place in the summit, which eventually happened as it is no longer December of 2020. Betas is not the most active of Roblox myths, being last online around less than 2 months prior to recording this. There's a funny story about Betas that I want to briefly mention. So back in January and February of this year, quite a few people had asked me to do a video on his myth and I thought nothing of it. That was until I went onto the myth community wiki. It was there that I found out Betas was a rising myth and becoming more popular every day. That took me by surprise and then prompted me to make a video on Betas, which is this one. It's not too important but I just wanted to share with the viewer. As with every single Roblox myth in existence, there was some lore that wants you to know about betas. I'll read out the lore that is from the mid-community wiki and break it down so that it is easier for the viewer to understand. So, according to the mid-community wiki, betas lives in a maze with his pet, Dark. Him and his dearly departed stayed at the home together. When his wife had passed, the thought of being with her had monopolized his thoughts. Betas seemed to believe that a place called the Void is where you go when you pass on. He has been trying to get there ever since Marissa, his dear wife, departed. Betas has been continuously working on a ritual of some sort, focusing on bringing his presence to the Void. He has been traveling to places which are some of his games to get the ingredients for the ritual, and he now has the last one to open a gate, possibly to the void. While executing this ritual, corruption has started to take over half of his face. Due to this occurrence, Betas now wears a rebreather to keep the corruption at bay. 
To break this all down, Betus resides in a maze along with his pet named Dark. We also learned that Betus' wife had passed away and the thought of being with her ghost had messed with his head. Going back to his wife's passing, Betus believes that a place called The Void is where those that have passed go. Because of this, Betus has been trying to get to this place mainly via working on a ritual in hopes of allowing him to get to The Void. The other games depict him traveling to other places to get ingredients for a said ritual. Soon after, he finally got the last one needed. However, when Betas was doing the ritual, something known as corruption had taken over one side of his face. Due to this, he now wears a rebreather in order to prevent the corruption from getting worse. In my opinion, this score is pretty interesting as it is able to tell the myth's entire story or a part of it in a pretty cool and simplified way. Of course, the entire story is more complex and making a video on that will probably take a bit of time to do. Regardless, the lore about Betas' myth is pretty cool. Regarding Betas' appearance, his avatar currently consists of a grey head and arms as well as a red torso, dark grey legs, a star blowing beanie hat, the waist black spell book UGC waist accessory, the Santos belt UGC waist accessory, the waist length strider band oil or UGC front accessory, the deep space half gas mask UGC face accessory, the void head UGC head accessory, the left pauldron of the void UGC shoulder accessory, and the corrupt demonic greatsword UGC back accessory. In my opinion, Betas' avatar isn't the best, but it's definitely not trash. The fact that there are many items on his avatar does make it look a bit, bit messy, but it's not enough for one to complain about it. After all, it is Betas' avatar and he can dress how he wants. Overall, I give his avatar a 7.5 out of 10, since one can see that Betas was definitely going for something, but it's not the best avatar that one could come up with. Of course, I'm not complaining, simply doing a not so great review of his avatar. There's not much for this section, but I'll still talk about it. In regards to Betis' personality, he is known to be pretty positive and cheerful and will not speak to the player unless he is encouraged in a negative way. Whenever he speaks to someone, he is pretty vague and doesn't usually include details unless he is asked to. Well, there's not much else to talk about for this section, so we might as well just move on. As mentioned before, Betas has several games at the time we're recording this. Specifically, he has 9 different games. In order, the games are The Maze, The Summit, The Divide, The Valley, The Breach, The Grove, The Edge, The Dunes, and The Gate. The most popular of the 9 is The Maze, with over 2,720 plays visits at the time we're recording this. However, because there are 9 different games, I'm not going to be covering every single one of them. For this video, I'll only be covering one game due to time constraints, and I'm pretty lazy. So the game I'll be covering is The Maze, which is the most popular game that Betas has created. The game was created on July 20th, 2018, and was last updated on January 21st, 2021, so almost 4 months ago at the time of uploading this. As to keep up with channel tradition, I'll be talking about what can be found in game. So, the player spawns at the beginning of a relatively normal maze. Behind it, there is some map that cannot be accessed. I'm assuming this is a part of a different game that leads into the maze. As implied by the title, the game is just a maze with different paths that contain quite a few secrets. Due to this, I'll mainly be covering the hidden secrets and points of interest within the game. The first point of interest can be seen when taking a ride near the entrance of the maze. Here, one can see a door that is lit up and contains a few things inside. I'll be coming back to this area a bit later in the video. Continuing down the path, one will run into a dead body that is lit up and sitting against the wall. Another body can be seen down the path, this time protruding from the wall for some reason. I don't know what happened for it to be like this, but it happened, so I might as well not question it. Another point of interest is at the end of a different path. Here, one can see a gravestone on the ground that says, RIP. Here lies Marissa, wife of Bait. There is also a note next to the grave that reads, I'll get you back my love, even if I have to go to the void to get you. This supports the part of the lore that mentions Betas' wife dying and him aiming to get her back. Next to these two things is a shed with a broken door that doesn't contain anything inside of it. The next point of interest is an orb that is floating on a pedestal. This can be found at the end of yet another path. What a surprise, right? And that is pretty much all that can be found here. If the orb does anything, I have not found a way to do said thing. Another point of interest is a statue that can be found at the end of a pad near the path with the orb. If I remember correctly, it's to the path to the left of the orb. The statue contains a character that looks similar to Betas holding a sword along with the plaque below it that says, The Great Void. To be honest, I don't know what that could mean. Betas does have a game called The Void, which I think it could be referring to. It was also in this area that I found two different shadow crystals that seem to have no purpose. Moving on, there are several secret rooms within the map that one can find. 
The first secret area can be found in the path somewhere in the map. Here, one can walk through a light green area of the wall, which will be still a room containing a few Roblox characters hanging from the wall. And that is that. The second secret room can be found at the end of a path directly in front of spawn. Inside this room, one can find several bodies either poking through the wall or standing against it. A note will be found on the ground that reads, You have been invited to drink coffee at Bates' house. Just say the maze parts in front of the door to open it. From Bates. This note is actually giving a code that can be used to open the door that is found near the spawn area. Speaking of which, the player can say the maze parts and it will open the door which the player can walk in. Doing this will show a pretty cool looking room with shelves, a table, a bar, and much more. One thing to note is that there are several dead bodies in the room, one of which is sitting at the table. There are also two doors, one of which needs a key to enter. The other door needs a code in order to see what's inside. Speaking of that, the bar that is near this has an open cupboard that contains a note that reads, Remember, the password for the basement door is My Pet Hungers. If one doesn't catch on, there's a dead body next to this note that doesn't do anything. It was around here that I met you Dora Colt, a member of the Colt family. As the note reads, saying the phrase My Pet Hungers will open the basement door and one can go down some stairs. This will obviously lead down to the basement, which contains a few things. Again, there are a few dead bodies in the basement, which isn't surprising as, it, as it's the basement. Also, there was a cage down there that reads Beware of Pet. However, do not get close to the cage as it will kill you. I and Eudora Cole found out the hard way. One last thing to know is that there is a secret passageway that can be opened by clicking on the wardrobe against the wall. However, a door will be found in the secret passageway that one has to open. I do not know how to open it, I probably won't find a way for a bit of time. Other than that, there's not much else to see in game. Well, there is a lot more to see in game, but I don't feel like covering it in this video since it's a lot, and if I did talk about it, this section would get very long. In my opinion, The Maze is a very interesting game that someone with a lot of brain cells can figure out. The various secrets that were found in the game were honestly pretty interesting as it helps the viewer progress through the mid story. One thing I don't like is how the player walks pretty slow in game. It honestly made me spend more time just moving around than finding secrets in game. If this was intentional, then I won't complain too much. Overall, The Maze is a pretty good starting point for those who want to investigate Betis' mid since it's the first game that he made. Like a lot of big Roblox myths, there are a few relationships that Betas has with other people or characters, and each one has different levels of significance to the myth story, so let's get into the relationships. The first relationship that Betas has is with someone named Marissa. If one doesn't know, Marissa is his wife. In the lore, she passed away shortly before the events in the maze occurred, as well as the maze being built. This is seen in the part of the maze where there is a grave that reads her name as well as a note next to said grave. It is also known that Marissa would give Betas gifts, the most notable of which is the beanie that he currently wears. Since she is dead, Betas will attempt a ritual in order to get her back. In the story, Betas does get all the things needed to do the ritual. The second relationship that Betas has is with the username Z3F6. How are the two related? Well, it is unknown how, but the two were connected from late 2019 until early 2020. Towards the end of that year, Z3F6 was removed from Betas' friends list. Z3F6 and Betas could be seen in multiple videos talking to each other in The Breach. It is also known that Z3F6 killed himself in The Valley. One thing of interest is that Z3F6 was last online over a year ago prior to recording this, so we can conclude that he isn't that active. The third relationship that Betas has is with the user named Pandaman3509. How are the two related? Panda was Bates' old partner that killed himself in order to avoid the whispers. It is also known that Panda disappeared in 2019 and was found slash brought back in 2021. No one knows where Panda was during the two years he was gone. The fourth and final relationship that Betas has is with his master. For those of you who don't know, the master is an unknown entity that is mentioned quite a bit throughout all of Betas' games. It is speculated that the master is directly related to the rituals that Betas is attempting to do. Whoever the master is sometimes whispers to Betas along with his friends, but this caused Betas' friends to kill themselves. So there are four people that Betas is related to, with each of them playing a different part of the myth story. Like some other Roblox myths, there are some theories about betas that one should know about. Theories are just explanations that have been created to explain some unknown things. So without further ado, let's get into the theories. The first theory about betas is that there is a shovel behind the closet and that shovel was likely used to dig Marissa's grave. The first and only piece of evidence is that if one manages to find a way to open the closet, then they can use it to dig up the grave and find something inside of it. This theory isn't that great, but it does have something to back it up. 
The second theory about Betas is that the Shadow Crystals are used to open up the door that leads to Betas' room. The first piece of evidence to support this is that Betas has been seen holding the Shadow Crystals near his pet, which suggests that they may have some importance. The second and final piece of evidence is that these two of the Shadow Crystals can be found near the statue that says the Great Void. This goes back to the previous piece of evidence. It is speculated that Betas' pet Dark created these crystals. It is also speculated that these crystals could be the key to keeping Dark in check and making it not go insane. I'm gonna be honest, these tears are not that great, but they do provide an explanation for some things found in Betas' games. There's not much for this section, but I'll still talk about it regardless. As one might know, trivia is just facts that are relevant enough to make it onto the video. So without further ado, let's get into the trivia. The first piece of trivia is that throughout time, Betas has changed his Roblox avatar to match the direction that his mid story is going. For example, let's say that the story goes in a direction where Betas was badly burned. In order to show this, he would change his avatar to be partially black since, again, he was badly burned. Don't ask why he got badly burned, but just know that could happen in the mid story. Anyways, the second and final piece of trivia is that Betas is only close friends with three people, two of which are mid hunters that he considers close friends. Well, this was the case until Z3F6 was removed from Betas' friends list in late 2020. In May of 2021, someone else took the spot and became Betas' third friend. That person being me. Yeah, I recently found out that Betas had sent me a friend request and just decided to accept it. That makes me the third person that Betas is friends with. I don't know, I just feel like sharing that extra bit to the second piece of trivia. To wrap this all up, Betas is a Roblox myth that is best known for his 9 different Roblox games as well as being investigated by various different myth hunting groups. His myth contains quite a bit of lore that helps one understand him as a character. Recently, Betas has been gaining popularity within the Roblox myth community, which led to me making this video. The story of Betas dates all the way back to June of 2018 and has developed his story ever since. Throughout the first two years of his career, Betas would end up making all 9 of his games and went back to update each one of them in late 2020 and early 2021. As a whole, Betas' mint is a very interesting one with quite a bit of backstory. Betas is normally pretty happy with this being noticeable on various occasions. He has a relationship with various different people, each of which play a different part in his mint story. Some theories about Betas include that he used a shovel to dig up his wife's grave and some shadow crystals are used to open doors. All in all, this myth is one that has quite a bit of potential to become big and recognizable within the Roblox myth community. Betas will forever be a popular Roblox myth, and that's everything.